and welcome back to another awesome episode of Behind the Mask. And this is another special one. We've got a great guest coming back on. Actually, we've got a couple of guests that are going to be coming on to this one. Uh, just so we could start off, actually, we want to start off as always. Unfortunately, my co-host Dennis isn't here right now. So all you guys got to look at is my mug, which isn't the greatest. But I got this really cool new ring light that is making me look a little prettier. So, hey. And you actually see my X-Wing a little bit better. So I'm excited about that. So we want to start off with our unofficial official sponsor because I sponsor them, but they sponsor me with energy is Ghost. Love this stuff. Always want to bring it on here just so maybe one of these days these guys will catch on to us and they'll be like, oh crap, they talk about us. Yeah, we do talk about you guys. And this is what I'm drinking to get me going for this awesome special uh, <clears throat> episode of Behind the Mask and my new ring light. We'll just say that's an unofficial official sponsor. It's kind of nice. But as we all know, we just had Cup this past, well, when this goes up, I'm going to probably say it's been a week or so. But we have a great guest and it is a couple guys that we've already talked to before. We're bringing them back on because they did amazing for the full year. They did amazing. And even to do what they did at Cup, it was awesome. I wish I could have been there. I seriously, I've seen all their pictures and I was just like, I, I was jealous. I honestly was jealous about everything that they were doing out there. But these guys are always great to talk to. And also, as I always, like I said in the last one that we talked about with them, all heart. And I love hearing the stories from our guests about what happened. And it makes me want to be like them when I grow up, which I already am. But I'm, you know, anyways, I'm going to bring them on right now. We've got Niles and I believe he said Kyle. So here we're going to unmute them. Uh, where's my unmute? You there, Niles? Got you. Can you hear me? I got you guys. Yes. All right. Technology does Good. work. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. And you know what? I got that text this morning and I know that you said you're a night owl and I'm usually a night owl. And I got your text, your text at I think at like 2.49 in the morning, my time, which is 4.49 your time. So it's buzzing above my head. And I'm like, oh my God, who's texting me at this time? Because I was asleep. I ignored it. Right. But when I woke up, I read the story and it's just, it was another Texas Cyclone amazing story that literally put a crack in this man's, you know, heart and heart. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it definitely touched my heart. I was like, man, that was a story. And I know this is something that follows you guys. These stories are like all the time with you guys, which is awesome. But before we get to that, it's huh? been, we've been blessed for sure. Oh, you guys definitely are. I mean, I, there's no doubt. But before we get to that story, because I don't want everybody crying while we're, you know, before we get to the cup stuff, let's hear about, actually, let's introduce Kyle, right? Am I right? Is that who's with you? Yes, sir. Welcome Kyle to the show. Since, uh, almost two years. Okay. Breaking, we have a bad connection here, so I'll do the best I can. Kyle Snyder's our front man, and he's been with us for almost two years around a year and a half, I guess. Yes, sir. And uh, um, Kyle got injured. Oh man, it's been four months now. He had an injury in practice, uh, and uh, I tore my ACL playing uh, paintball, so just been on the recovery, so trying to get back in the snake. We've had him, you know, kind of working. He was able to go back to cup. And uh, um, he's not technically released for full play for another couple of months. Uh -huh. But we want him to be in a swing of things, go back with us. And, and Cup was the first of any he had a chance to go. And he'd been slowly getting back on the field, just playing in a totally different position, you know, in plays. And, and uh, why don't you tell us how your recovery is going? So yeah, let's I, I've been through rehab for about two, two and a half months. And after that, I've just been living with Niles for – uh, about a month and a half almost and uh he's been pushing me 
because I'm not really motivated by myself. I get motivated by this man right here because <laughs> he has a way of motivating people for sure. And uh, I've been using his treadmill to recover quickly. And uh, it's looking pretty, pretty nice. I still got about two and a half months of recovery still. And then I think I'll be back in full motion. So awesome. You know what? Niles pushes me to be better too. Just talking to the man. <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. Like sometimes it's like, man, I don't, I get down. And then all of a sudden I get that, like I said earlier, stories from Niles. And I'm like, dude, this you man. Better yourself, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I want to, even that second text. I was driving and I read it, and I was like, I, I'm like gonna call my mom, and be like, Mama, I want to be just like Niles, too. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, I, you know, you are you're truly blessed, you know, even Kyle, to know this man to be in that room with it. Well, I, I, awesome. I and he's not like this, just. In front of the camera, he's like this 24-7. So. Oh, I believe it. I definitely believe it. And that's why it's just like when we said that Texas Cyclone is behind the mask team, it truly is. You guys like, man, oh, I think we got Dennis trying to get in. Do we? Nope, not yet. Nice. Nope. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but I want to yeah. know how Cup went, how everything was, you know, even from start to, to finish. Uh, well, first thing we did is um, always do preparation, which we don't really change our schedule much. Normally, we hit the road a lot to try to hit fit, um, uh, at least before we go to any, any major events, to try to hit fit because that's what's on the best competition. And being one of our home fields, along with Texas Legends, we get the best treatment out there as far as uh, um, getting good competition, friends. It's good to see the family. But we also um, we're trying to get – Kyle back in recovery. So I moved Kyle over here to help prepare and to prepare for things. But I thought, you know, why is here? Let's let him get on the field a little bit and work that leg and get loosened and get back into the routine. So it was nice to do. But getting ready for cup, we didn't miss a beat. We actually stepped up our practices to two and three days a week, um, <laughs> most of the time for a while, just, just to kind of get the rhythm because we know going into cup, the, the amount of competition, obviously, um, you want to be as prepared as possible. And we had made some some mistakes in uh, Chicago that we wanted to make sure that we corrected, which we'd done most of the drills and get back to our normal routine when we came home because we have not missed a weekend all year, but maybe one or two of practices. We pretty, we're pretty consistent. So with some of the scheduling and things that were going on, uh, we ended up staying home. So we'd scheduled a couple of other teams to come scrimmage with us, but we had not had an opportunity to play with. And, uh, man, it was nice. We, uh, um, we hit it really hard. Matter of fact, we were leaving because the team was going to go and do some Disney time. So we were going to leave that Saturday before cup. And I told the team we needed to really have a good, strong practice that Saturday morning from 7 a.m. till noon. And at noon, everybody had to be on the bus. We we're going to go to my house. Everybody take their showers. And then we'd load up and we'd just hit the road. And it worked out well. Everybody was ready. Got there early. It was still dark out. We're all trying to get the bunkers aired up, get exercised. And uh, um, we had Zone send the team over. Zone White came over uh, to scrimmage with us, which we greatly appreciated. And, uh, um, man, it was nice. That was the second weekend in a row that they came to help us out by scrimmaging. But we hit it hard all day long with both lines. And one thing we did do is we took our beginner and our D5 line, kind of combined them to give them an opportunity to kind of see what Cup is all about as well. So we took, we took quite a few people. So then we had a really good practice, real strong, and everybody loaded up on the bus, took some pictures. Um, Ryan kind of saw us off from Texas Legends, spent some time with us. And poor guy, he needed um, some of the players to help him out, but uh, he knew how bad we wanted to be on the road. So we left, got home, and uh, uh, Mary took showers. We loaded the bus up, uh, got the guys ready to go. Matter of fact, uh, we even got Hayden a, a haircut before we left. <laughs> so didn't work out so well for him. Leo tried to cut his hair, and uh, that was a whole nother ball game in itself. But anyway, we had a good time. We ate, we ate hamburgers, took showers, we loaded up and uh, um, got it by comfortable. And we left town. We we knew that we'd, we'd, we'd uh, want to stop somewhere and stay a few hours before getting there. Um, 
But anyway, we got on the road, made up there. Guys had a good time. They had a gaming system in the back. So I could hear them all get laughing and joking. If you've seen the pictures. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Hear Tom, Hayden and Leo up front just busting out because they were playing on the TV <laughs> with some. I don't remember the game. What was the name? It was uh, Jackbox. Jackbox. So they were playing. I was like, man, I got to turn my music up. This is depressing. They're all having a good time back here. <laughs> so it was yeah, it a good time. So we stopped a few times. And then we stopped and uh, um, got prepared uh, by going over some of the – game plan watching some stuff on the tvs and things but anyway we got into town first day everyone went to disney um second day we went back to disney had a good time and then we had our meetings that night and wednesday morning went to the field did our normal get there at seven o'clock in the morning we spent the morning walking the fields um really kind of getting a feel for the layout and everything and then wednesday we were supposed to meet at another field to scrimmage a couple of the teams, but when we got there, there was nobody there. Jeez. Oh, and uh, I don't want to put down any field, not being negative at all, because we all put fields together, mistakes were made, but we were going to go ahead and run drills, but the field, the lanes were way off yeah. from where um, the NXL was. So it wouldn't have done us any good. We'd be defeating the purpose of what we're trying to do this. So we loaded back up, drove an hour back home or to the field. And figured we'd, we'd just go back to the field and work on some stuff there. Now, what you probably don't know is in the midst of all this, two days before we left, I broke my ribs. Oh, so, um, Yeah. So How'd... I was worried about a trip down there and getting things done. I was going to um, play a little bit in the scrimmages to kind of mix things up a little bit. And uh, lo and behold, I broke the ribs. But you know what? We still went through this whole thing, got down there. So we pulled back in. Pro Edge met me in the parking lot. And I was great friends, D3 team, wonderful, wonderful team. And they said, hey, man, we've got a spot on the field. You guys want to jump in and, and scrimmage. I was like, man, this is perfect. So it gave us another opportunity to play the actual layout with both lines before we get the field. So it was great. Um, and then, you want anything to that, Kyle? Um, well, they did have a few teams lined out for them, but uh, they all dropped because it started raining. And uh, it was just me or us and Pro Edge and RD5 line out there. Yep. So we had quite a bit of spins in the only hour we had with them. So it was it was good looks for both teams. So in the future, we'll, we'll we will make sure that we we practice at the uh, in Excel because it was a nice get the breakouts done and then play a few points. <clears throat> um, and you know get the, kind of fill the out. So it was really nice, really good job. We got done. We all went to dinner and. Uh, um, Cleaned up, had our meeting in our hotel room like we normally do. Got up the next morning, and we in both lines were playing first thing in the morning. Oh, jeez. The team you know, <laughs> one of those guys that you have to be on the field two hours before for warm-up, prayer, uh, wake up and chant and all that. We have, a, we have a routine that we do that doesn't change at all. And uh, So first game is, what was it, 7.30? 7 a.m. for the D5 line. <laughs> oh and the D4 line was at 8.20, I think. So, um, so that means that you're saying two hours prior. So that means you guys had to get there at 5 yeah, to be yep. prepared. So that means you guys had to wake up at least by 4. Yeah. Niles. Me, three, you're three, a, third. three third. Niles, you're a madman. He, he gets <laughs> up way earlier than everybody else does. Oh, so. did you? <laughs> Before a tournament, sometimes he never sleeps. So. <laughs> it's it's a, you it's are, a problem. You, know? yeah, you, you are insane because even I wouldn't even. <laughs> I have a hard time even just getting up at you know when I get up to come to work. You're crazy. You're you're insane, sir. Yeah, um, well, I would have a job to do. We came here to do something, and and it's not fair for me to require from them to give them give for them to give me 110 percent if I'm not willing to give them the same thing. So. I get up, get the shower, get all the stuff I need to do, get planned out for the day. And then we shoot out and um, I start the bus up, get, you know, ACs and whatever running, pull the bus around uh, to the front of the hotel so they can load up when they come down. And I make a personal phone call to every player to make sure they're up. And I schedule those calls, usually about knowing which ones to take showers first, three or four or five minutes apart so they can start waking up. So it's funny. And, uh, and they have to start trickling down. And they know exactly what time we had to leave. And D5 was in a hotel one block away. So we'd load up, scoop over, pick them up, and then shoot down. And um, some of the parents 
uh, would stop and pick up the ice and the things that we needed like that to keep things going. But it's great. We have a great routine. We set up a big tent. The first day of the NXL, they told me we couldn't have tents set up. Oh, yeah. So I was kind of arguing, wait a minute, it's going to be hot and, you know, I need something to cover it up. And uh, it was nice of Tom Cole to resend that, that message that we couldn't have them and get us set up. But um, D5 struggled, but D4 came out of the gate um, really warm, did a great job. Um, both matches the first day, we mercyed. Um, wow. I can't tell you enough that the guys, man, they just played phenomenal. They really did. Um, the execution was perfect. The communication, the first point is always a little slow on communication. We, we come out of the box, but it was really on point this time. And once we got up to um, our third point, we'd like to put, you know, the Kyle, for instance, being on the injury list, gave him an opportunity to get, the, get on the field. He's playing a different position, but he's been playing well. He knows he can't run and slide. He knows he can't do a lot of stuff, but we got an opportunity to put him in. So he got to, I've got a great picture of Kyle walking up the field. He can't run, shooting, and shooting two guys out as he's walking up the field. It was great. <laughs> nice. He needed that for, for some reassurance and, and some confidence building in there. Definitely. And then all the work that we've been doing was doing it. But the guys, man, it was just phenomenal. We had just recently picked up uh, another player, like Fluffy from another team locally here that has been trying to get where he wanted to be with different teams. And uh, so we'd ask him to play with us to see if he was a perfect fit. And uh, man, it was great. Everybody played well, hundred um, percent. I, I just, I can't even, I can't even tell you how well it was. And then we came off, went to the other line and uh, D5 struggled a bit on the second match. It's the first NXL. Yeah. It's tough for us to coach when I'm on one field and then being on another. So I think we've got to work through as well. But our second match, we walked up there. The guys played phenomenal again. Mercy, that particular team. Um, so if I had to say that all your stars are aligned, the guys just, they, they came out of there ready to play paintball. And they're ready, ready to play cyclone balls, I like to call it, because they played together, teamwork. Mm -hmm. Everybody worked together. It was magical. It really was. So I was super excited. Um, and then we spent the rest of the day, you know, kind of walking fields, talking to people. But here's the really thing that I like to talk about. We have a lot of friends across the country, across the world that follow us. And it's really nice looking over and all those friends asking, hey, can we help in the pits? Yeah. Can we do this? Can we, you know, how can we be, you know, can, can we help you? Can we hang out? It was really nice. Um, Despite all the things you see it, the NXL, like this one had a huge fight in it. It was very disheartening because I had a lot of great sponsors that flew in to see us. Mm -hmm. um, I think the NXL handled all that very well. Yeah. Um, I think the players across the country need to do a better job of keeping their areas cleaned up because the trash from different players and teams were left a lot. But overall, we had such an amazing event. And uh, had such a good time. I mean, I'm so thankful we picked up uh, uh, Carbon recently as a sponsor. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to talk to you guys about that. I it saw was, that. You know, here, here's the thing. We were trying to work with them. And, and uh, um, man, they called me on the cell phone late at night one afternoon. And we, and we got to really get into the meat and potatoes of, of what we wanted to do. And uh, um, the truth is, we don't deviate from our program. It doesn't change regardless of anything. And, and when players come and go, they have to understand that we're an all year round thing. I had a player recently asked me yesterday, he said, Hey, I guess I'll see you guys in February. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm confused here. <laughs> Did you not understand? Cause I thought we understood. We signed all our paperwork. We got together what this means. This is an all year. The good news is you get um, Christmas off because it lands on a holiday. <laughs> on the weekend. But Thanksgiving, we practice that Sunday after Thanksgiving, we have a job to do. And we have several months to get where we need to be and see this next season. We're going to have the D4 and the, and, and the D3 line because we're obviously D3 now. Yep. But I made a mistake at the NXL and I let the other guys play the three man, not thinking about the points. And so the guys that are going to be on my D5 now have no choice yeah. to play D4 next season. So I, that was, I was trying to be helpful because I wanted to jump in and help some other teams out and play and have a good time. And, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't expect them to uh, get that many points. It just didn't work out for them. Yeah. Uh, so 
what that really means is, is after, after in now in this point, we have a lot of work to do. Yeah. So we're going to go back to the work and we're not going to miss a beat and we're going to keep moving along. And, and, um, you know, things with, with smoke trough have been good and he's got you know things going on. So we know we have a lot of work to do and we're going to keep moving. But let me, let me say this day two for both lines after we went back and went to the drawing board and got things going, the five line played amazing the second day. And then, uh, um, same thing. They still had a 7 a.m. ball game. So the guys yeah. still had to get up early in the morning. <laughs> but they learned a lot. The guys that we didn't, that were they were kind of struggling at first. Man, Ethan, one of my one just one of my kids is great. He's new to paintball. And uh he played so well. He's one of those guys you go, where you know, that light bulb went off and go, man, that was fantastic. He just it all came together for him. He got a really highlighted game, and you just want to hug those guys and tell them thanks. They did a really good job. And then uh D4. Mercy both a lot, both the next games. Um, I just, I, I mean, they, they, they played really well. Um, and luckily we went into the, to the next day. Um, top in the first seed, yeah, top seed. So above coalition, which coalition are great guys. So it was nice to see that we had have done enough to manage to, to uh, compete because they they've really worked hard and they've done a great job. So I was proud of them, but our teams just really played well. All the hard work we put into it nonstop had been paying off. But let me say this. Leo is an amazing guy on the field because um, I'm talking about my Leo. Uh, he, he gets on there and uh, you talked to him last time. Is yeah. he, he, he can see things on the field that I just have never seen through other people again. And he can call plays and put a play together that that is amazing. And so. I put 100% faith in what he calls on that field and the place he put together better than anyone I've ever met in my life. And as I told you before, he believed in me like no one has ever done. Everything we've said we do, we've done. Um, and here we are going into D3. Again, we've been in the top five all season long in everything. We've got a season championship last year, a season championship this year, second in, in uh, NXL. And uh, um, I feel in my heart and soul we'll do the same thing moving into D3 next year and be very competitive. And that's why we're not going to take the time off. Most people do. We feel like we still have some work to do. Yeah. And uh, it'll, it'll be nothing but grow us stronger. But I will tell you this. There were 35 people that went to NXL this time with us, count my family. <laughs> and my sponsor flew in. It's huge, yeah. Our sponsor flew in, Iodine Star Incorporated, and took the entire 35 people to dinner. <laughs> Phenomenal. It really yeah. was. Yes. It, 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 it's crazy. Again, the more I hear stories from the events, the, the even off, you know, off of the events, you guys are just out practicing. It's a testament to you, Niles, that you truly pull these guys together. Everybody believes in everything that's going on with Cyclone. There is a heart, and I said it over and over again the last time we talked. It's heart. You guys have so much heart. It's spilling over, and everybody sees it, and they feel that love, and they see the difference between you guys and all the other teams out there. And I will continue to say that, that you guys have something special beyond what any other team has. I don't care if you guys only play – this World Cup, you guys will keep continuously going on and on because people are going to see that and want to be part of whatever you guys have. They see the bus and the story that I want to get to that story right after this, after I, I actually want to hear about Kyle and how he uh, playing paintball messed up his leg. But uh, it's just, there's so much heart with you guys that it, like I said, it's spilling over. You're talking about people not only in your local community that love you guys and are showing their love, but around the world, it's unheard of, of a team that is playing in D, you know, starting where you guys are at D4 to get this much love, this much attention, you know, it, it really is unheard of. Nobody has ever done that. I don't know of any other team except for you guys now that have done that. Part of that though, is because we, we try to do a positive on everything we mm -hmm. do. Um, uh, for instance, Kyle, uh, when, when I went and picked up Kyle because I, I, I didn't think that he was sitting at home 
recovering was going to be enough to get him where he needed to be. And it's real easy to get in your head and not be able to bounce back to what we do right. and to be distant from our family. Mm-hmm. So I called his family and said, I'd like to pick him up, bring him over here. We can spend some time with me and the team and we can, we can work on that together. And so I did. And we put him on the treadmill. I started him off slow walking. And then on Thursdays, we help two other teams out there, beginner teams. And so that's a perfect opportunity for Kyle yeah. and Hayden. Hayden's on the couch in there. <laughs> He's camera shy. So <laughs> I, I said, hey, let's go out there. And you can help out and build these guys up. You're still working on you, right? But you're passing out that knowledge to someone else. Yeah. And that's important. So it enabled him to get it and get more comfortable and be more involved with us again. But it wasn't so distant. And I think his recovery has been huge. Um, number one, the smile keeps getting bigger every day we go out there. Um, matter of fact, he was a little broken hearted when we went to, to World Cup. He's like, man, God, I, want, I, want to, I just want to be on that field. Yeah. I want to play. I've been working hard. I was like, no, <laughs> we don't want to take a chance hurting your leg. But given yeah. the opportunity, that is a coaching call that when that, when that time comes, be ready. Mm-hmm. But don't be upset if it doesn't come because we don't want to jeopardize you. We want you next year. We want you for the long haul. Yeah. Yeah. We want to take a chance on the damaging thing. But my point to all this was is I think that because we do share everybody else's successes and um and their failures in that sense, if if they, you know, they run the things we like to do the same thing and uh help them out and share their stuff. So I think that is part of what we you know kind of do. Um we do have such a huge family and we've had some families. Um, Cole's mom is a perfect example. Um, Cole Newman, um, Tammy had lost her brother to suicide. Hayden lost one of his friends to suicide. Um, Kyle's had, had been affected by suicide before um, and along with some other players. So we take that very serious. So when we see somebody in our, in our world and in, in we think we can help them. It's our job to, to give back into that community. Whatever that may be. Matter of fact, I just gave pod packs this weekend out at the event. We had extra pod packs. And so we tried to find people that could use them yeah. and benefit. So we gave them out for free, obviously. Yeah. Um, but again, this is not something that you will hear from. Like the pros will take a pod pack off their back if they win. I've seen them throw it over the, you know, the, but you guys, you guys are giving out brand new pod packs to those that need it. And that's, again, unheard of. You guys are bringing heart back into the sport of paintball. You are heart right now. You know, now, if we, if we can, if we can change one person's life um, I'll, and I'll be, everybody says it's all my heart, but I'm going to, I'm going to be, these guys changed my life just as much as I changed theirs. Um, it's, it's a, uh, it goes hand in hand. I mean, Leo, Austin, um, Andy, you know, Colton, all these guys, uh, Elia, our little Russian that's just amazing, <laughs> full of energy. I just he's a ball of fire. He's, sometimes with all that energy comes down and sits down. We'll have this. He's, he's 15. He comes and he sits down next to me. And we're driving the bus and we're going places. And he, he has this conversation. I have to think back and go, this kid's 15. Yeah. We're having this conversation, you know, because he's <laughs> analyzing what we're doing and where we're going. And, uh, um, you know, the amount of loyalty that we have with our players because of our program has been phenomenal. Somebody offered, um, Ilya an opportunity to play somewhere else as a fill-in. And uh, he was offended. No, I don't do anything without my team. This is my family. And that meant so much to to me and the rest of the guys because we are. I mean, they make jokes about it, but this is a family, and I expect certain things out of them just like they expect out of me. And uh, you were trying to get to the situation um, before we even got uh, into – be on the prelims and everything, you know, having, having people walk up to us and, and, and say, Hey, we're following you. We appreciate yeah. you. And so on and so forth. And then this young man that was having a difficult time grabbing, you know, saying hello to Cole and all the guys grabbing this kid up and spending time with him. Most people don't do that. I am so blessed to be around such a group of men, young men, because I got 23 kids yeah. in adult year. And every one of them would stop and change your tire for you. That's awesome. Buy you a glass of a Coke if you didn't have a hamburger, you know? And, uh, uh, you know, it brings tears to my eyes to think that we've, we've become where I don't have to worry about going, that wasn't very nice. 
why'd you do that to man? I can't believe that's fun. That's phenomenal that you went out of your way to help someone else. And that's what they do. And it's, it, it's an honor. It really is. And I didn't mean to get sidetracked with what you're doing, but I think it's just by doing the right thing. It is. You, it definitely is. Um, somebody said this weekend that men cyclones are always positive. We, we don't, we don't stop any negativity. It's a cancer in, in, in our sport. We need every ounce of positivity we can. There we go. Definitely. So anyway. No, definitely. <laughs> you're, 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 you're absolutely right. But Kyle, yes, go ahead. So with this young Dre, I mean, uh, with this young kid named Dre, he was bullied in school and everything. Uh, he saw the cyclone bus and told his mom about it and also saw uh, Cole and Antonio there with the jerseys on and everything. He walked up to him and said that he was our, our number one fan and everything and really wanted an autograph with Cole and uh, Antonio, got a picture with them. And then Antonio and Cole brought him all the way to where we were uh, staging with our tents and everything, brought us or brought him all the way to the whole team and got to meet everybody. That's where the video started to kick in and uh, everybody walked up to him. We got a whole picture with him, with the whole team. We're not the whole team, but the majority of the team. And we treated him like our own. And uh, the backstory behind uh, with his story and his bullying situation, we did not know that, but we treated him like he was one of us. So that was a very, very, very good uh, story to like a warm, warm welcome to who he is and everything. So it, that was very, very nice. We didn't know. And uh, I didn't know he didn't even follow us. He'd been following us for a while. He's got his, his own podcast, but <laughs> that's cool. You, know, you, you, you think that uh, um, God really does work in mysterious ways because he's blessed okay. many of us. Um, I'm even losing Trey. And then uh, um, Trey's still with us. Uh, matter of fact, his wife and his kids were here today. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful seeing him. But um, I know he's watching over us. But this young man needed something. And it just so happened that, that and, and the players didn't know, they were just happy to talk to someone. But Cole took his own headband off his head yeah. and gave it to him. And then um, we had a mask strap for a mask. And then in just a conversation, um, I don't even remember how we got into it. But so I said, we'll just, we'll just give him our gun to use. He said, his gun, that gun was giving us some trouble. So we gave him a gun and a hopper and a tank to use. And the guys went and watched him play. And um, it just, it, it, I, we didn't know all the details of it until she emailed me after, yeah. after it was all done. But it was really nice to see a smile on somebody's face. And he got to come over and hang out, be a part of everything. And um, we have also arranging right now to fly him here and his mother oh, wow. to spend the weekend. Awesome. Um, going to be an entire weekend with us for, for we can you know, play paintball with him, have some yeah. fun, have some dinner. Uh, and the team is going to be actually taking care of his expenses to get him here. Um, really because it's the right thing to do. And we love giving back. And, and uh, if this will give him a story to talk about later, of all the times he's had, it's worth, well worth it. And yeah. then we've also sent an invite as of this afternoon that when we go to the uh, any national events that he's able to attend, we're going to arrange to try to get him there. That he can pit for us, work in the pits, be a nice. part of us. I did order his jersey today um, with his own number on it. Um, <laughs> his mother's not going to tell him yet. I made kind of a surprise for him. Um, well, actually, if... If he listens to this, the surprise is all over. Yeah. <laughs> so Drake, about it, but yeah, let, let's <laughs> mute this part. Don't listen to any of this. We just need to belong somewhere mm -hmm. because the truth is, each one of our players all came from different walks of life. Yeah, they all have different things about them, mm -hmm. and in their own individual way, we may be different and not acceptable in the in the world around us, but together. It's like a puzzle and it all works. Yeah. You don't know why it all works. It just works. Uh, and we and we find the strengths and weaknesses in each one of us and a accent those things and, 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 and make them better. And that's what makes us such a tight family. That's, and that's I was about that earlier today. She was, I think you spend more time 
with your paintball family than with, with, with us. And I said, hey, <laughs> I can get you a mask and a gun if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But uh, yeah, that was the story that you that I got at 2.45 in the morning, my time. But <laughs> you know what? It was a great way to actually, as soon as I woke up in the morning and actually decided to look over my text because I thought it was actually work. And if anybody from my work is listening, yeah, I didn't want to answer any of the texts at two o'clock in the morning. The base could be burning down. Don't text me. But anyways, um, that story hit me like really hard because I want to just say that even when, when I was a kid uh, in elementary school, first, second grade, I was bullied. I was small. And, you know, it took time to finally, I, I wasn't bullied after that, after a while, but, you know, um, I know what it feels like to be, get bullied as a kid. And when I heard, read the story and how you guys just swooped them up, took them in, it's just like, that's awesome. So what I want to say is Drake, if you're listening to this one, ignore what Niall said about all this other stuff that you, <laughs> or the cat's out of the bag. Guess what? You know? You're part of the Texas Cyclone family now. So what I want to do, I was actually going to debut this later, but I'm going to, we just made our own official behind the mask shirts. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. Yes. So sweet. what I want to do for him also, for Drake, is I'm going to put together a whole care package of our behind the mask swag because wow. I got even these shirts, which I've been dying to get this design up. I designed this too. Oh, oh no! There we go. So it's death from above, but it's a bunch of paintballers. So that's awesome. On top of getting them to you guys, because I definitely want you guys to wear some of our shirts. I'm going to put together some stuff for him too. Some shirts, some stickers, and I'll get those over to you. So when you guys have him over, he'll have his little. I'll have a backpack full of stuff for him. And uh, you know, welcome to the paintball family. You know, he'll be part of every, all of us. I mean, so that is fantastic. Thank you. I, I mean, Appreciate like I said, when I read the second part of that, that message, and it says that I, you know, it's mama, I want to be like Niles and, and all the guys from, you know, Texas Cyclone. It made me want to, honestly, I want to be a better person. I want to, to be, you know, get that heart going too. Cause this heart in here is, you know, years of military it doesn't pump as well as you used to. But anyways, that's a whole other story. But you guys did phenomenal at Cup. And seeing the pictures and like I said, you know, you had two days of, of Disney, which I was absolutely jealous of. I'm a huge Disney fan. <laughs> um, but just being there at Cup, is it's an amazing thing. And the what you guys accomplished is definitely awesome. I mean, you guys took, oh, oh, oh. All right, guys, we're bringing in our, my co-host, Dennis finally made it home. Let's bring him in. Well, while we're waiting for him to come in. Um, so I sent over Niles a special frame that is now up on our YouTube for us. Hey, there's Dennis. How's it going? What's up? Hey, what's going on, gentlemen? There we go. Dennis. This is Kyle. You haven't met uh, him yet. No, not yet. How you doing, Kyle? Doing all right. He's all a little late life. to the show, but it's great to have him on. So, but been working to death. That, that's for you, Dennis. Oh, I'm sorry. I can barely <laughs> hear you now. So. I said, are they working you to death? No, no. Unfortunately, I had to take my uh, I had to take my kid back to uh, to her mom's. I've been there. <laughs> in there well, but glad to have you there buddy what's that i'm sorry glad to have you join us no yo thank you so much for taking some time especially after that long bus ride home <laughs> it was enjoyable well yeah i mean if you look at that thing I, i'd love to sleep in there too dude i want that parked behind the office so i could just go sleep in there during the night exactly so, <laughs> dude, seriously but it I does say, make it nice but what i actually dennis you missed it and for all the viewers on YouTube saw it, but I wanted to show, I was going to save it for the end, but. Oh. Back in the front. 
Very nice. Very nice. For and I just, watching, yeah. Hit us up. Hit us, hit up. us up. It's going to cost you though. But for Cyclones, it's all free. No, well, when, when, you guys, when it's family. But I was telling him the story that I had sent you, Dennis, that Niles had sent me. Oh, man. Yes. I, I, I kid you not, Niles. When Eugene sent me that initially, all the only text I received was, oh, you got to read. Did you read that thing that, uh, that Niles sent me? I said, what, on Instagram? So I immediately logged into our Instagram account looking to see, no, there's nothing there. And he goes, no, no, I'm sending it to you right now. And I get this wall of text. And about five minutes later, I, I'm not even kidding because I'm sitting outside my, my kid's school waiting to pick her up and I'm like wiping tears out of my eyes. I mean, that, that is one of the most, you know, heartfelt things that I've read in a long time. And, and Eugene brought up a good point that I don't know if he mentioned it to you, but um, if that's not material for a damn good documentary about yourself and the team, I don't know what is. Well, I think the world needs more of stories like that. We'll talk about that after. <laughs> you, you cut it. There's two cats out of the bag now. Jeez. What? First Niall spoils something. And then... <laughs> I'm a sucker for a spoiler. But, whoa, oh, oh, did I miss but, a spoil? Oh, it was, yeah. I'll, show it to, I'll talk to you later about it. But I also told him that for Drake, for himself, that I'm going to put together a swag bag from behind the mask mm. with shirt stickers other stuff that we have that i'm now that we're going to finally put out and that we're going to send that over to niles and we'll get that over to him oh that's that's amazing so, and that. also all the guys are going to get their own shirts too because we've got plenty of stuff going on but well, like i was saying when, it, when we're talking about family you know, oh yeah the, the, these guys are i want them to be my family niles <laughs> will you please adopt me that's all i gotta say <laughs> we have an open door policy here so oh. I'm going to you know, somebody that. was joking about that the other day <laughs> that how do you have so many players? And I said, you know, the truth is, is the only people that I turn down are the people that can't really live by the guidelines yeah. and our standards, which yeah. means that, you know, I can teach paintball all day long. Yeah. And if you're willing to give us 110%, and I can give you that. What I can't teach is family unity, honor, integrity, <laughs> and respect. Those have to already be instilled there. But if you can, if you have those things and you're willing to live by those standards, I don't really, you know, you can always be a part of who we are. Um, you know, this joke that the NXL makes all the time that, I, yeah, I, I made a statement that, yeah, I cut players not playing or not being on time and, and all that. That's all part of the respect and honor and dignity thing. You've got to, you know, we have a schedule we keep and, and it's disrespectful to our players not to fulfill that including myself yeah. and uh, um so I, i'm gonna keep we're gonna keep doing what we need to do to keep growing the sport of paintball and keep it positive and we're not gonna let any negative as i call demons take over uh you know people have something negative to say i don't care you know i was talking about the big fight so i said only the people in there that that started should be suspended no if you punch me i have a choice to make, I can retaliate or I can accept the fact that it happened, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to speak to someone else's level because I have a job to do here. And if I lose my position in Excel being at play and I jeopardize my boys and my family, and I have sets of parents that came out this weekend, that worked our pits and helped us out with two lines. They spent their own money getting here, went to Disney, God, you gotta just rub that in. Went to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I, I just derailed your whole thought. Oh, all right. Hey, 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 they got up at five o'clock in the morning, yeah. brought coffee to the field, ice to the field, and worked with the pot, cleaned them, unloaded the bus, loaded the bus, cleaned the pods. It, it wasn't just the first two days, it was every single day we had to play. We had the first game each time. And it was actually kind of, it was not, it, we had to wake up, what, five days in a row at four o'clock, four o'clock. So it was not fun, but Den I mean, it, it played. Dennis, you missed it. Niles is a beast. And the way he I runs I things. I already know. No, I know. But the, the way he runs things, it's like, I'd be scared if he was 
my platoon sergeant and him doing them. I'd be like, yeah, no, we, we ain't messing around. Well, Whatever the, only, you want. <laughs> the only reason you would ever have to fear a man like Niles is if you screw up. Probably. <laughs> I, I'd fear his anger. And, and, and I mean, I'll be completely honest with you. Can everybody follow, you know, his example? Can everybody follow his guideline? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can they do it to his standard? Maybe not. <laughs> but so his know, punishment it, is uh, burpees. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm all the way out. Cyclones? No. That takes that takes me that takes me back to that takes me back to you know hockey practice. Let's screw it around. The coach says, All right, sticks down, we're doing ladders. Now, if you've ever if you've ever played football, ladders is it's the same thing. You run, yeah. you know, three yards back, six yards back, you know. But with on on you know on the ice, it's a little bit different. But uh, yeah, do that until you throw up. So I I, I hear you. <laughs> One minute late for practice is forty burpees. Oh, forget that! Oh my god, a penalty is a hundred burpees. <laughs> that's that's gonna like give me flashbacks of basic. Just oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, no thanks. That's the standards. And there yes, be repercussions for actions because that's what life's all about. Oh, yeah. And the truth of the matter is, when my boys leave, I want them to be able to go through life, be able to make decisions, understand those consequences for everything that we do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's that's you true. By the it goes for all of us. So, you know, yeah, that's crazy. That's no, but it's something that isn't around as much as it used to be. You know, it's kind of like the next generation doesn't understand that. And it's awesome to see somebody like you, Niles, that's instilling it more into guys that seem to already have it, but it's solidifying it. And they're passing it along to the next generation of players yep. and yep. people around them. So, you know, Kyle, you're, you're free. You're really lucky. It's awesome. But I do want to know, or I do want to hear the story of how you, what was it? Tore your ACL? Yes, sir. So I was playing, um, Previously, I've had injuries playing paintball still. Um, I heard it. I forget how I did it, but I think it, yeah, first it, time. First time I like almost hyperextended it, my left knee. And then second time I was practicing, running and gunning out to the corner, slid on it wrong. And the third time uh, I was running someone down in the snake. And to then bunker so, them. Yeah, to bunker them. <laughs> Someone started shooting at me. So I put my foot out to stop like quick and it just went the other way. And oh, oh, momentum just kept you going. Leg went one way, his body went the other way, it didn't work out. Now we have a physical therapist and a doctor on our staff. Yes, yes. So when you injured the first time, I keep tens units and things like that to help with healing. So we immediately got him on the tens unit and got it, you know, kind of worked and um, we're going to send him to the doctor and it was recommended he was, he was better. But the third time that he heard it, I refused to let him play against him to went and had looked at it. And yeah. sure enough, he had torn it that particular time. And, uh, um, he's going to be out with surgery and probably one of the hardest things for him and us, because, you know, when your lead guys taken out of the field, uh, you know, it's, you, it's real hard to replace a, Hey, Kyle, you know, he's done such an amazing job. He's, he's grown so much. And then uh, that man, Andy had to really step up and he's done that. He's done a great yeah. job and can't wait till Kyle gets back as Kyle um, plays multiple positions. So there's obviously plenty going on there, but he's doing great. I've got him on the treadmill every day. We're increasing it. He's, uh, um, he's playing on Thursdays and Sundays. We're just keeping it. Um, we're not doing any any running, any you know bending, sliding. Um, so all of his positions he plays, and I was excited because he got to play this week at the NXL. He played a couple of points, and uh, he looked good doing it too, man. <laughs> well, hearing that, thinking. hearing that the 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 guy walks down the field and takes out two players. Yeah, that's a, that's wait, saying. No, like, wait, you walked <laughs> down yeah. the field and. Yeah. Okay. On the center of the field. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. No way. Holy cow. Pretty good. I, I bet. 
<laughs> Kyle, you're you are a beast too. Just to hear that, because it's like, dang. Okay, that's that's more fortitude than I. I will openly admit that's more fortitude than I have. I, I and now I've got a, I'm a, I've got I'm a, a new beast. hero though. I, I got a new hero. Sorry, Rich Telford, you were Kyle. You're my new hero. That's just thank you. <laughs> Two players walking down the field during the NXL. That's just. No, uh, that's fantastic. If you've got a picture of that, I really, you got to send that over to us. I will send it. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do a video. Oh, you got a video too? Yeah, it's video. Oh, my God. Um, Yeah, you got to send that to me because that'll go up. I mean, granted, now this is going to be on YouTube. So we've now graduated from just podcast to now we're going to be on a video also. So yeah. for all those of you guys out no, there, not listening. Vimeo. Vimeo doesn't exist anymore. No, I said video, video. Guys, in my accent, God, why you got to? It's because I'm Mexican, huh? It, it, well, because it. he's, <laughs> he's from East LA. Uh, but right, we are. Uh, we've graduated now. So for the listeners out there or, that are listening to this, you've you didn't get to see the shirts, but they're pretty awesome. Go on to our Instagram, you'll see them, or go on to to YouTube so you can see these two wonderful gentlemen from Texas Cyclone yeah, and also be, the special frame number three now going up on YouTube yeah this will yeah, be episode nice. number three and also to see this but to see this awesome frame that I, I could only describe right now but I built a special Texas Cyclone frame we took our logo turned it red which it's now red put the barbed wire around it so we could give homage to Texas Cyclone and also put their logo on so we can show that we absolutely love Texas Cyclone. So we, we are showing that. nothing but love for this, for these guys. Okay, Gene, we, we better be careful that Niles doesn't sue us for like copyright infringement or something. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to family now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have flashing up there, family. Especially since we had your jerseys made, your shirts are here. I just hadn't had a chance to send them to you. So I will get that done ASAP. Yes, because guess what? I can't wait. I can't wait. We are actually, since I'm inside the hangar with my X-Wing, you know, we are actually going to be putting together uh, actual behind the mask studio. So we, I would, I've been wanting to do is put jerseys up. I'll put them up on the walls. Your guys' jersey will go up there. And yeah. Um, everybody Haley's else is going to go already, below. Haley's already said that she wants to send us a jersey as well. So we'll put hers up too. Yeah. Nice. But we want to show you guys love because that's all. I mean, you guys are all about that. Oh, absolutely. So, and and if I could take a quick moment, I'm sure Eugene already did, but if I could take a quick moment to to congratulate you guys on, on uh, you know, taking second place. I know it wasn't what you were hoping for, but um you know, I'm going to say it right now. You guys deserved every bit of it. You know, um, I, I was a little disappointed. I'm going to be completely honest. I was a little disappointed that uh, you guys didn't get more love on, uh, on you know, the NXL social media. There was just the one post that I saw um, that basically said that, uh, you know, the the team that that did take first place, congratulations to them. And I immediately shouted you guys out. I was like, you know, that, that was excellent job. And you guys definitely deserve all the success you have. So, Good, you know, okay, congratulations. Yeah, um, I will tell you that the team that beat us um, played phenomenal. They they knew exactly what we were doing. They'd done their homework, much like we'd done on their side. They had a snake player that we just didn't have the right answer for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's something we made some mistakes on. And and, and I don't want to I don't want to uh, discredit anything they did because I'm going to tell you those two, especially those two players were phenomenal and uh, i had to go and hug them i mean they just played such a good game I'm like man you guys played well um really they were the only real competition we felt like we'd had all weekend um that really put it you know put us into a position where we had to, to really reevaluate what we we're doing um it's unfortunate that it was on the nxl field at that time yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah right on the center field everybody saw it <laughs> right so but the truth is 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 you know you can't win them all and you take something away from everything you do. And the guys were, um, uh, aside from the tears and everything else, um, they got together and, and uh, um, they all said the same thing. We've got work to do. Let's get back. We want to do 
much better. And, and that takes, and one thing about us is we are willing to travel to play better teams, to be able to get in a better position, to be more competitive. And um, my hat off to all the Houston teams, um, you know, pro edge um, for, for coming out and scrimmaging with us all the time. The zone teams are coming out scrimmaging with us, give us the opportunity to, to do better fit um, has been amazing. Obviously Jay and those guys, but I do want to give a real quick shout out. If you'll indulge me um, you know, Ryan with Texas legends since day one, we started has always been there for us. I mean, he's been phenomenal. Um, he helped us set up the, the, um, you know, paint with GI, which shot amazingly. And I just can't tell how much love him and his wife have for our program, what they've done to help support it over the, over the last two years. And, and one thing you may not know is this is our two year anniversary officially of being a team this week. So <laughs> that's fantastic. You know, that is. Yeah. It's really, really good to get the guys a, a good second place and, and uh, realize that the top two, I call it the world because that's why they call it world cup. Right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so um, in, in, in hats off to the amount of competition that's been out there, but here's one thing I want to tell you shocker. I have to say, um, I love those guys because they're always in our pits with anything we need. The support from all of them are phenomenal. They made our new pants for us. Um, oh, and those things are gorgeous, man. They, oh, they look amazing. amazing. And they so them. jealous. I'm so jealous. Sick. They got them to us literally at World Cup. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. They got them to us. They were perfect. The sizes were perfect. The, the way they, 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 we thought they'd be we're better than we could imagine. But the most important thing is, is, you know, we took a marker we hadn't played with and we've won now six straight events. Yep. With shocker and uh, between first and, and second and, and there. And, and they've always been super reliable and in the staff at shocker, it's hard to find a company that, that genuinely cares about you and what you believe in and what your program is and what you, what you need as a player and as a team. And they have provided us with, with just that. And, and for that, I tell everybody, I loan my gun out to all, all the people I can. I mean, try this thing. It's been phenomenal. And to have something you can rely on in a, in a, a support sponsor that supports you like they do is, is uh, it's just unbelievable. And same with Carbon and, and Hydra. Those guys have just been always been there to help. You know, JD was there with us this weekend, came up on stage, sent people in our pits to help us out. The love that we get from sponsors are phenomenal. And I, and I mean, absolutely. The, the, and it's not just, oh, here's your 10% discount, or here's 20% and mm -hmm. all this stuff. It's, it's more about what can we do to help you better what you need and what can we do to improve things? And those people have always done that. I mean, for JD to come sit in our pits while we're playing, he's got a hundred things he needs to be doing, including a booth that he made it a priority. Ryan called me all weekend, checking us. How you doing? What can I do to help? Uh, the GI guys, phenomenal. Came over to see what I needed. Um, I, I just can't tell you how, how nice it is to have all those people. Um, the carbon guys um, grabbed a couple of guys, took them in there to, to um, um, try on some stuff to see what we like and that sort of thing and, and help my, I just, man, paintball is a world that um and i think what's lost a long time a long time ago is it we offered to help tear down and set up for all of our sponsors yeah because that's my job that's the way i was brought up and they're like what are you doing i'm like we're here to help you I'm like no no we got this you guys go have fun we did have fun representing your product was great it was fun now let us let us do something for you guys yeah and um, i guess they're not used to seeing that no but I, i'm here to tell you we are trying to change the face of the sport and make it more of a positive, more fun. Um, and I'm going to be the first to tell you, Kyle's not falling asleep on me here. No. <laughs> we have fun. Every day we're working paintball, we're having fun. That was not a smart decision, the broker is, but it, it, we're having fun. We, practices are fun. It's work, but it's fun. Yeah. You look at all the stuff at dinner. We just, we're having a great time. And, and if you're having fun doing what you love to do, oh my God, it's so much better. Yeah. But that's what's drawing these sponsors to you guys. Like I said earlier, and even Dennis will agree, it is unheard of of a team that literally is two years. Is this your first time at Cup? 
that we went last year on D5. Okay, so last year D5. So this year moving up, moved up to D4. Next year moving up to D3. D3, yeah. Two years, in two years, no, I don't know, I don't know of any other team that is getting this much love within the two years of them being around. And not only that, but coming into cup, their second year, taking second place and running the whole year pretty much first. You guys were yeah. taking almost every event. Yep. And I, I've never heard of that. Dynasty? Uh, <laughs> Dynasty had their run. They were good. But I think it's we're, we're coming into the, the year of, the, of Cyclone. Okay, credit credit given where it's due. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dynasty, yeah, yeah good I, well, job, guys. Woo! No, but I'm not I mean, saying I'm not saying fair. that they because they. I'm talking about this year. I'm just saying when Dynasty started, they were a phenomenal team. They were moving up. They were making moves. They were amazing. You guys would be right up there with them. That's what I see. Not only because of the talent and the program you guys are running, or Niles, what you guys, what you're doing. But it's also, like you said, the positive. It's the, I keep saying it, the heart. It's the dedication. Yeah, it's the heart and the dedication that you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And and like Eugene said, I think that really does make a difference to um, to companies that are looking to maybe sponsor, uh, you know, lower divisional teams or, or looking to sponsor teams in general. They want to make sure that they're properly represented not only by, you know, successful showings, you know, podium finish and whatnot like that, but, um, you know, no, no egos, no, you know, cursing. What I, I don't even know the details of it, but the fight at the end of the, the turn, at the end of the, the um, thing there that I heard about, you know, two teams just, get, just going off at each other on the field, literally every ref that was in sight was, pulled onto the field to try and break everything up. I heard somebody actually uh, swung on somebody with their tank. Yeah. So, you know, things like that, that's a real good way to not only lose sponsorship, but to, um, to lose, uh, you know, face, if that's the right word, you know, well, it that, puts that's a, a black mark on the sport. When people that's what I was about to say, it puts a black mark on the whole sport. So yeah. it's not just on that team, or the two teams or that one event, it's across the board. And then we see you guys who it's like a breath of fresh air. I, I know for a fact, Niles, if, if any of your guys ever acted like that, <laughs> they would be deep six so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. there's, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> the, the, um, we, we actually spent a long time talking about it. Um, it's embarrassing to be even to even be associated with that type of behavior. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for two reasons, I've dropped players because they can't control their mouths and their yeah. tempers and attitudes on the field. Yeah. And one number two is um, life is too short to have those type of behaviors yeah. and 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 be angry and, and that sort of thing. And, and uh, um, we don't need that type of stuff in our sport. I had I had two sponsors that flew in specifically to hang out with us and watch us play. And they were in our tents when this fight broke up. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so fight you, guys, you guys were still in the pits when it, when it went down? We were, we were just outside the field yeah. where our tents were set up. For, we had a staging area set up for, for um, everybody to kind of cool off, lawn chairs, we could eat lunch. And we were just outside that field. Yeah. When the, was, we were getting ready to walk over to play, actually. When that fight broke out. Wow. I'm trying to. Yeah, you know, it's just it was horrible. It was it was right in front of where we staged, and it was directly in front of us. So it was not a good look for especially our when we're trying to get outside sponsors in yeah. the sport. Yeah, that's the part that you know it, it really sucks because you know we do want the outside sponsors. We want these bigger companies to come in and you know to help us again. We want to see the sport grow. We want to see more events like World Cup happen in other places because the events that I went to that I've seen that. Mm. But anyways, of course, World Cup is the best looking of them all. And you guys have an outside sponsor. And then we got a bunch of morons starting to fight. Starting to fight over what? Really? And it carried over to the parking lot as well. I don't know if oh, you knew that. Gosh, I didn't know that. Same people. Oh, geez. See, well, that's what it, it's. Yeah. 
but There's nothing we could do about it, us Cyclones, but <laughs> NXL has power to do what they're going to do. So. Oh, absolutely. But, but to be like, at least from my perspective, um, I think you guys actually do a lot to, tr to counter that because of the fact that you have created this environment that shows the positive sides of it. Hey, we can come out, we can literally, and I'm, I'm going to be a little free and loose with my language, so I apologize, but we can come out, we can smash people, we can run the table, and we can make people look stupid, but as soon as you walk off that field, you're shaking hands, everybody's smiling, and, and it's like Niall said, you know, in the previous episode that he recorded with us, um, you know, you guys have your prayer, you guys have your three positive things, you know. Um, you have that structure where, you know, practice is important. You don't show up for practice. You got to pay the price. Uh, you know, if, if you act out in some way, you've got to pay the price. These are things that I think you guys are actually doing to help the, the uh, entire face of what is paintball, because yeah. I'll be honest with you, even today, um, I talked to a lot of people who still think that it's a bunch of guys in camouflage and, and, you know, uh, war paint with yeah. ghillie suits hiding in bushes it, they, they still <laughs> see it as war games despite yeah. the fact that they could easily go online and pull up video footage of world cup of you know the the sunshine state open you know pick an event mm -hmm. it's the furthest thing from war games you know well, if they look up you know the d-day event then they see the dudes that are <laughs> but, but again they specifically have to be looking for scenario paintball events and this is true then, even then um at least from from my perspective uh, even looking at stuff for the scenario events you still see people smiling mm -hmm. people are they're literally like guys are walking out into the middle of just lanes of paint going back and forth and they're basically just like seeing you know how many they can dodge before they finally have to relent and walk back and they're laughing the whole time yeah you know um and again that's the that's the attitude that you know i think we need to see more of and again with the the program that you that you have in place and the the commitment that you not only that you have, but that you expect from your players. Um, I, it, I think it's going to do wonders for the sport. I really do. And we do more of it. I like to think that I like to think that we have the ability to uh, um, bring more of the positive out, out to it. Um, Cause I love nothing more than people walk up and talk about. Yeah. It's so nice walking through the crowds and you don't know people and people just go, Hey, you're Niles. Hey, let's talk. <laughs> You're, you're the people yeah. with the bus. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I kept saying the first time. The bus, and I know Niles kept saying it's not about the bus. No, it's about the bus. <laughs> well, it really is now, considering that. Uh, uh, I'm gonna plug that in. Uh, now that uh, um, it's funny, it's, it's uh, somebody sent me a message the other day. It says, you know, people talk about it's it's about the bus, but the truth is, you guys really play. You really come out there. You, you ball out. You have a good time, and we do, but. The other thing is we did make quite a bit of upgrades to the bus before we went to this uh, to World Cup. Oh, did we lose Niles because he was trying to plug in? Uh-oh, I don't know. I heard a couple of dings and then he froze. Oh, okay, technical difficulty. Banner up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> time for a break. We'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Awesome. And we still don't have Niles yet, but we will soon. Hopefully, yeah. let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he's still here. I'm looking. I'm looking. I can still see his face, so his camera hasn't died yet. Oh, nope. We lost him. Okay, bringing him back in. Oh, see, I still see his frozen screen. I know. We got oh, that. weird. He had to switch to his phone. Oh, all right. Niles, there you are. Oh, wait. There he is. There he is. I got too many screens now. <laughs> Which one do I look at? I lost you. I know, but, but now we're on your phone. We're on your phone and, and your computer. Your, I guess, what is that? Your, ta your tablet or your computer? Both of them are working now. They're both up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well here give give kyle your phone so that way you can you guys both have your own screen i don't have well hang on there we go we got one there you go now, now just your phone it, i don't know what happened there it was plugged in and then it just freaking died and... <laughs> and 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 oddly enough better resolution and sound yeah oh, wow. you Sweet. guys look wonderful <laughs> In my moments. Anyway, <laughs> I, I apologize. I can't wait oh, to plug it. Dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We went to a break. We had a technical difficulty banner up. And we're back. So <laughs> here we are. <laughs> wait. The wonders of anyway, technology. The uh, uh, I think we're talking about you know just nice having people that uh, uh, we made so many friends and family involved in in. Uh, the paintball world that that uh, um, it gives you more reason to want to be more involved with more teams. And matter of fact, I've got the guys from PDK that uh, want to come down and just hang out. And so we have kind of an open door policy that if we're running drills, as long as you can make the schedule that we keep, they're always welcome. So I have a guy from PDK that wants to learn more. So he comes down typically every two to three weeks. He tries to come down. I leave my door unlocked for him he comes in crashes on my air mattress in the living room and <laughs> gets up and goes to practice because he six and a half hours from us yeah. wow so uh but i i just kind of i have another player that comes down and stays in my rv when he's able to come down so he doesn't have to pay for hotel it's on the lake so it makes it easier we just want more people to be involved with uh the great and and i'm blessed enough that we have enough great um staff that can help facilitate all the things that we need to do and we're just gonna next year i want to have a booth at the nxl so that we can we That's can uh, help, help do some of the stuff that need to have for suicide awareness and children with autism mm -hmm. and yeah. uh two areas that we think that, that need the most love and attention and we're going to do our part that's awesome. And that's awesome. just, I mean, you saying that you leave your door unlocked, that's proof that he lives in Texas because that yeah. would not fly in my neighborhood. Leave that door open. Oh man, I don't know what will come in, but yeah. that's awesome that you, you know, you would do that. That's again, a testament to who you are, how you are and just, you know, it's amazing. And I really hope that you guys do get that booth that you guys, you know, hopefully you can get. And, you know, if we could, help in any way we definitely would love to help out yeah by all means let us know if there's anything we can do i mean we've said it before we'll say it again we're happy to even if it's just literally putting your name out on you know social media things like that you know we're more than happy to help you any way we can we appreciate it we uh um, we're still waiting for that texas visit so i figured you're holding out on me to drive to california that's what I <laughs> and you know what <laughs> California is getting to the point where I'm going to be moving to Texas because I'm a little ashamed to say that I'm from California right now. Well, we were talking about that earlier and uh, today, actually, we we're talking about, you know, fuel. I, and so I said, we need to go play a couple more events in California. I was like, oh, that decision. Not, not for the all, cost of gas in California. Hell no. The <laughs> diesel would be just, yeah. I mean, I complained at Louisiana's uh, gas prices. And I was I was so excited when I got to Texas because <laughs> gas prices were cheaper. But California would bankrupt me. Yeah. I mean, oh my goodness! But um, I know we're going to be there for NXL, so I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward and to seeing you guys. Well, actually, I do want to get over to you guys really soon. I think it would be something that we're going to definitely plan driving out to you guys. One because I I want to go get the gas prices over there even if it's just to fill up back. But 
Um, it's something that Dennis was bringing up earlier, which we're going to talk about when we take another break, um, when we let you guys go, but, uh, definitely want to get out there really soon and maybe get out there and play with the guys, even though it'll probably work to both of us. Cause we are old <laughs> and slow. Yeah. Yeah. We're not um, special like Kyle who can walk down a field. If we walk down the field, we would just get pelted. <laughs> oh yeah. We get, we get stitched on both sides. Oh right? yeah. <laughs> um, well, no, and, and and I mean, I I I mentioned it the last time we spoke with you. Know, I was, you know, my my parents live just outside of of Austin. They live in Georgetown, so oh, yeah. I've got family there. And then I, my older brother lives in um, El Paso. So you are close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, I it's not as though I don't have uh, a reason to go visit outside of um, outside of coming to see you and and see the guys. You know, actually do their do their thing on the field. It's a matter of trying to find uh, find somebody who's um, going to work. <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh, I, we're we're so short staffed over here. <sighs> it's insane, but you know we will we will be making it out to Texas. Yeah, I want to no, get out there. I want to take is, up Leo yeah. on his barbecue because he said he would cook, and oh, your yeah. burgers the next day. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. I want to see. I want to. I I want to see if Texas barbecue really lives up to its reputation. <laughs> You'll never go home. You'll be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be stuck here. I'm just saying. <laughs> you mentioned oh. about this this lunch. Leo is supposed to um, be here Thursday, I think, of this week or Friday. He said he's been telling me he's going to come over and cook this new dish he's got planned up. And uh, so he says he's coming over to cook it this week. Nice. And I'm like, I'm holding out on it then. So I'm going <laughs> to starve myself all week <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, he's fear so at first it was going to be wednesday then he changed to thursday and i'm pretty sure he might end up changed to friday but that man can cook yeah well by the time good. this goes up hopefully niles you are still surviving and have eaten the yeah, food not, not too hangry at that point yeah because <laughs> i don't want to see hangry niles yeah oh uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> see kyle's always yeah. say no no <laughs> yeah when it, when it gets that point yeah it's like oh uh, yeah that's why i keep a little hidden snickers bar once in a while <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, you know, man. and you notice niles looks around to make sure that the wife didn't hear nothing <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking around yeah my the, the one that uh you have to watch he uh um because i'm not supposed to have caffeine since my heart jack right. so yeah, I, to, I swear they're they're both like nagging wives, right? <laughs> is, that, is that a coke in your hand? Do you have one? And then and then Ryan, Texas Legends. If I walk out one, he like knocks it out of my hand. I'm like, you know, I just paid a dollar for that thing. You're not supposed to have it. What do you mean? <laughs> so when we were when we were on the trip, I have to have a little caffeine because that's a long trip. So yeah. I sneak cokes in there, and by the time I get the second one, I have to be careful as to who's listening and who's not so i whisper to someone in the back hey can you bring me a coke well they can't always hear me because the music in the back and the radio is up front so i call them and their phone sometimes automatically switches to speaker phone that's built into the stereo system so, like, <laughs> so they can hear through the whole bus like, like uh, what are you doing you can't have coke <laughs> <laughs> ah, so he told me when i got back last night all right you had your last caffeine you're back on your uh, uh, appropriate diet. I'm like, all right, mother. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I I feel you, Niles. I was recently diagnosed with diverticulitis, and they're like, oh, no red meat, nothing with seeds, nothing with nuts, no fried foods. Watch the sugar. I'm like, oh my god. Throw me off a bridge, right? <laughs> What's that? Throw me off a bridge, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At that point, it's over. It's all over. Forget it. <laughs> Funny you mention that because that's part of the thing my doctor made to cut out red meat, right? So we go out to Roadhouse this weekend, 35 of us. So <laughs> we finally <laughs> sat at a table away from everyone else. I had a couple of friends of mine that had driven in to, to play from Louisiana. I said, hey, I'm going to sit over with them. I see my son looking over the seat. Hey, he's looking. What's he getting? <laughs> so... I got the steak and the shrimp. That seemed appropriate, right? Because the steak's at the bottom, sure. shrimp's at the top. Maybe he wouldn't see it. Sure enough, he's sending me a picture on my phone. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Your kid. 
MS steak. I mean, absolute crap out of the steak. I'm going to eat every medium rare bite of it. So that was my red steak for the month. No red meat. <laughs> I have a lot of help here from these guys. So they keep me lined out quickly. Oh, that's funny. It, it, but that shows they absolutely love you and want to keep you around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that's, you know, it's a, a clear sign of the dedication that they have to you. So Yeah, definitely. But we are one family and we appreciate all of them. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to visit with us. It's For always sure. a pleasure and a blast to hang out and talk. Oh, yeah. Um, I definitely have love having you guys on. Love talking to you, Niles. Even yeah, if it's at 2 o'clock in the morning, all on this I love it. I'm not gonna let that go, <laughs> Dennis. You didn't. Say, I didn't tell you what time Niles actually sent the story to me. It was no, like two forty, two forty nine a.m. Yeah, I was actually. <laughs> well, he he did tell us that he usually doesn't go to bed until about two o'clock anyway. Yeah, and to be fair, I, me, and him usually have our conversations in the middle of the night because I am working. But this time, he caught me while I was at home. Yeah, I, I, have a, I don't know what it is, but especially around tournament time. Um, like this morning, I didn't even get to bed till midnight because we get home to 1030. Oh, and once you get the bus back, you got to unload. And I don't, I like to clean the bus. So we got everything kind of in here. And with broken ribs, I move a little slower. And uh, so I was getting everything in here. And the boys were trying to take showers. So six o'clock this morning, I wake up. I'm like, this is not normal. You haven't had any sleep yet. So here I am on the phone doing things, and I was up at oh, off and on throughout the night. But yeah, I have a bad problem with when things are on my mind. I'll send the messages, <laughs> so the guys know they better mute it. Or they'll get messages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's so funny! Um, if only we all had a dad like you, Niles. <laughs> Dad, I get to sleep. It's true, <laughs> but Niles. We've gone on for, man, we actually we went for like an hour and a half, which is awesome. Always awesome. Just talking to you guys. Yeah, I really awesome appreciate here. you taking yeah. the extra time since I was late. Yeah, definitely. And thank you, Niles. Thank you, Kyle, my new hero. I need to, <laughs> I need that picture. The yeah, video. we need I want, that video. We yeah, need I'm going to put it up. I'm, I kid you not. YouTube Great. is now opening a whole new door for us. If you haven't watched our other episodes, go watch them. And see all the fun stuff that I put up. Oh yeah, Eugene. Eugene roasted me pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I gotta see that. <laughs> oh, I found out Dennis was it's in the, the band. The, yeah, it's the. I. I was it the episode where we ranted, or was it the episode where we? Oh no, it was when we talked to Haley. Yeah. Dennis was in the band. He was in the band. He played. What did you play, Dennis? I played the flute. The flute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> hang on i got one better for you i have a player that is a great player. was a championship motocross racer he's six foot five recently started with us and on the bus ride home we're talking about all the things he's done and uh he actually got an opportunity for a scholarship for playing the french horn oh. <laughs> the french horn is i was very good i'm like apparently <laughs> <laughs> played, played the orchestra in this sound I'm like these are things no I gotta write this down give me a minute <laughs> so so you and flute and French horn I, I would have never but hey got a number of love for you because I can't do music so I, I know I'm not playing anything <laughs> and as my players found out in the bus this weekend late nights when they're trying to sleep and I'm listening to music with my headphones on so they can sleep. I can't sing. Not a lick. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> or rap, for that matter. But, hey, <laughs> but, you, but you try, right? Trying is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kyle, one of these days when you're on that bus, you got to just sneak that camera up uh, if he's singing. Do that and, for you. And then, okay. get, then get it over to us. Because I will use that almost every episode after that. You know why it's very hard for Kyle to get in a video like that? What? Just keep his eyes open when he's <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Go look at the pictures. You've got Hayden, Kyle, Ryan, um, Ryan, and Benny all sleep 
side by yeah. side in the back of the bus, sound asleep. Yeah. Wait, what, oh, was that's that, cute. Was that you in in the sleeping bags? Yes, that's them. <laughs> that's the picture. Oh, you, Kyle, you got hey. a picture being posted up on this video. <laughs> I can't. Done. <laughs> like, oh wait oh wait oh this is comfortable yeah uh, I, i'm definitely a sleeper and then and then and then i go to the back and go hey we're stopping for a uh, you know bathroom break in case one's getting stretched or anything and because we have a rule no 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 guys are allowed to use restroom on the bus yeah I'm just not even gonna we're not even gonna oh, no. i'm not even with that idea that's so, cute look at that I'll look, oh no wait to the next stop i'm like that's seven more hours you sure you want to do that <laughs> Oh man, oh, it's fun though. Everybody has a good time. There it is. <laughs> there yeah. it is. <laughs> Look at that. Aren't they cute? Yeah, that's <laughs> great. I'm in the. <laughs> yep. Oh man. Yeah. Well, uh, when I did join this team, I would have never expected the caliber of what it's become. Just a guy want to play paintball got an opportunity to play for a team that I really enjoyed playing on. And here we are. You got lucky. So, you're definitely yeah. like Niall said, you guys are, you're blessed. You're blessed to be on that team. It's awesome. Nobody so, imagined except this guy. I think he already had a vision. <laughs> he so. probably did. <laughs> the guys gave me for my, not the other one left to it. Yeah. The guys gave me a plaque for my uh, 50th birthday, which I don't like to tell people I'm 50, but <laughs> Do you see that? Is that too zoomed in or? No, no, that's perfect. Oh, no, yeah, it's perfect. That right there yeah. brought tears to my eyes because when I first started this, the first thing I told them was, I got a vision. Just trust me. <laughs> you just, just believe in me and give us an opportunity. I know we can do this. And uh, everything I said we do, we're doing. And it's it's really it's really about them just believing, absolutely, because uh, nobody can do anything on their own, and it takes everybody, our staff, our families. Um, the sponsors are just gonna they have they have to trust in your vision when you yeah when you're gonna do. And the truth is, is God has really, really, really given us an opportunity to be as one unit. And, and perform and do greatness. And if we can just, I, when I start, if I can just change one person's life, then I have done something. I've, I, you know, I've earned my, my spot in the heavens. If I can just get people to be better than what they were yesterday, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And these guys have done it for me. <clears throat> they push me to the limits and demand things for me. And, and I demand them back. And, and, uh, um, it's kind of like Cal coming over here. It's a pain in the butt to come over to my house and spend a month and a half with me. Because one thing he's going to tell you is I get up early. Oh, yeah. And for the first two weeks he was here, I got up at five and six in the morning. And I said, hey, let's get the treadmill done. Then you're not going to go work. Yeah, so I'm I in, taking the work with me. I'm in the living room, so <laughs> I hear everything. <laughs> he, gets up, he gets up in the living room in the morning. I said, hey, you're going with me. We're going to go we gotta, we gotta take care of some business. And we're driving down the road. And I've got the music up. And I'm, I'm singing to him. He's, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, dude, we got to get motivated. That's how we motivate, man. At seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Great. How do you have this much energy? Oh, dude. You're killing me. So every day he makes jokes about, I don't know. It. It's just too much. <laughs> I'm so not. I just reach over and turn the music a little higher and sing for him. <laughs> it was, yeah. it, he picked Michael Jackson to sing to. It's not a good. <laughs> Okay. Look for him, you know. <laughs> He's like, oh, now, now, granted, his feet were bopping on the floor, yeah, his hands I mean, were keeping the beat. He's like, I can't believe you have this much energy. You have too much energy in the morning. I was like, this is how we motivate, baby. Get up, let's do it. I couldn't get him to sing with me. <laughs> oh man, oh, I'd love to spend one day. Well, I don't know, getting up that early, I might be fun. <laughs> oh no, it. it <laughs> It, it would be, here's the thing is I've gotten like my body just naturally. I usually will wake up at like 545 just because I know my alarm is going to be going off in like two minutes, you know? Yeah. So the waking up part's not going to be hard. The hard part for me would honestly be because I'm not a coffee drinker. Me so either. it's, it's, 
getting my brain to actually move. And Kyle, this is where I probably would be in the same position you are. This is like, my eye How cap the thing. hell are you this chipper? Yeah. This so, so I kind of treated it like he was a little kid. Like eventually it was stopped. I don't like acknowledge it, but it never. So. <laughs> <laughs> it just, oh. it was, it's fun. I mean, I had to get you. Uh, it's not going away. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I would certainly hope not. I mean, it honestly, that's one of the foundations of who you are as a as an individual. And you bring that every day. You know, I, I, I couldn't imagine you not being you, you know, just in the, the conversations that we've had with you. This is this is a dynamic man. Yeah, he every aspect, you know. I try, I try to motivate him. Anyway. Yeah, he motivates everybody. That's all awesome. like, our staff people, uh, pod crew, they don't get paid nothing, you know? So, I mean, they're always busting their butts. To, yeah. I do have a funny story, though, real quick. And I know you guys have been on here a long time, and I apologize. I just That's all right. Up. Oh, believe me, if, if it weren't for the fact that Eugene was at work, I'd be like, yeah, we can just keep talking. It's fine. <laughs> Shay, one of our staff members, uh, who is phenomenal. Yeah. She does our financial side of it for it, keeps the books for it organized schedules of hotels for us <clears throat> amazing organizer when we do when in our pits i mean it's it's phenomenal and uh um it's funny because when we turn on older music and hip-hop and stuff <laughs> she sits down in the front of the bus next to me and she'll be singing and we'll be dancing while i'm driving and it just gets the whole bus i was going it's only 7 30 in the morning or 6 30 <laughs> she's bopping and and uh um her husband austin parcells yeah. he um is not you have to give him till nine o'clock in the morning he's when we're playing at seven or six he's going to do what he's got to do and he's motivated at that point but to have a normal conversation he's not going to like you before nine o'clock <laughs> <laughs> oh he's looking at us i'm going to kill them all <laughs> but it's all fun everybody has a good time so i guess it's worth it <laughs> yeah, definitely. it sounds like you guys have an amazing time when you're on the bus when you're off the bus everywhere you go it just sounds like I definitely, I just want to follow you guys. I just want to be with you guys. I mean, yeah. I, I, I even want to be there when you guys had that negative experience with it. You, um, we're at a, a Mexican restaurant and you said that the waiter was just uh, like rude and they, they tried to double charge you and all this stuff. Like even then I could totally imagine that you walked <laughs> away from that with just the most like, Pardon my language. You have you probably had the most shit eating shit eating graded when you walked out of there. Oh, people. Uh, well, we have like a tight knit group. Uh, I have friends. Well, everybody's our friend in the group. So, with people that we share lunch with, we joke about Nas getting mad all the time. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we always keep it maintain a smile and keep it going. So it's yeah. just, it's fun. We make jokes about it and. and I don't know. Life's just too short not to, for yeah. sure. <laughs> Next time, Aileon, tell her we said hello. I saw her this weekend. She's one of my favorite people. Her dad and I go way back, and uh, uh, um, I'm glad to see she's uh, um, had a great weekend, too. It's been yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, they do. We're, we're, we're hoping that we'll be able to find time to speak with her as well as the rest of the Destiny ladies and, uh, you know, catch up with them at post, uh, post-World Cup as well. So, yeah, we'll definitely let her know that, uh, you know, that you send your love yes uh, and i talk probably two three times a week we, we played together way back in the day and been friends since and uh um i got a chance to be this weekend so it was real exciting because i hadn't seen her in a long time and i reminded her i still have one of her jerseys from back in 2005 or six oh, wow uh, uh it was it, Funny because I got rid of different jerseys over the years. And I kept hers because we go way back. We've been friends for a long time. Her and I were both sponsored by Chronic Paintball by Tanks, and it was just great to see her again. And you know, with where she lives and the fact that she doesn't get to all the events, we don't get to hang out. Even though we talk on Facebook and and all that stuff, it's been it's just it's phenomenal getting to see her this weekend and all the Destiny players. It's been it's been incredible, and I guess that's one of the best things about being a part of the NXL. Um, is getting to reconnect, you know, six times a year yep. with those people and, and get to see them because you look forward to it. You know, these are a, a great experience.
and, and, and uh, um, some people, uh, you don't get a chance to really visit with except for them because of where they live in the, in the country. And it's just great. Oh my gosh. It's fantastic to see all these people. Yeah. And I can't wait to where you guys get your schedules open up and you guys get to come and hang out a couple of those events too. Without me having to get to California to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, don't we don't want you to come here. We don't, don't want worry. you to be here. I'm California. I'm coming to your house to pick you up. So. <laughs> the field one way. So, <laughs> well, guys, and 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 we've got apparently we're we've got a lot of hassle from B wanting us to go up to uh, Montana. Let's go up to yeah. Montana as well. So we got to travel. <laughs> hey, here, here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't know that I could go. You know, Haley went up there and hung out a couple of months back, and yeah, she was up there for a week. B, I'm like, listen. That's kind of my dream thing. If I wasn't where we are in paintball, trust me, I'd be up in Montana where she is because it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh up there. my gosh. That the pictures, every time she posts up where she's living, it's just like it's amazing. I, I like know. I said yeah. on my last podcast on the last podcast when we had Haley on, I was like, the only thing I've ever seen with about Montana was in the show Longmire, which I don't know if you've ever watched that show, I have, yeah. but I want to go up there to be a sheriff. Just like, you know. <laughs> I feel the same way about Alaska. Oh, yeah. I actually I go- almost left for Alaska uh, this year, but I got offloaded off the deployment, so. Uh, yeah. That's probably a good thing, though, isn't it? Because <laughs> it's an awful big time change for you to start doing podcasts from Alaska. Of course, you probably <laughs> then. <laughs> It definitely would. It would be horrible. I'd be like, Dennis, uh, we got to do it at like three o'clock in the morning, your time, because it's I'm wide awake. But I want to share one thing with you guys real quick that I think is uh, um, fantastic is, um, you know, losing Trey was one of the hardest things I ever had to deal with. And, uh, um, you know, his ashes are with us all the time and, and his pictures and and you can fill him with us. But um, his wife had drawn since the funeral had drawn apart from us. And uh, we had not been directly in their lives because paintball was was the connection that her and Trey had to us. And sometimes those connections are very painful. Yeah. And uh, we've talked several times, but I hadn't seen her but once, once since the funeral, I think, um, and twice. Once when we spread his ashes at the field, and the other time is when she brought me the locket over with his ashes in it to, to carry with us on the bus. And uh, um, tonight, she called me this morning and asked, hey, can we come over and visit? And I thought, man, what a great opportunity to have some dinner. And uh, we had brought, bought a new um, urn for, for Trey that we hadn't actually transferred the ashes over to yet. And so she came by to help with that process. And the kids came by. And, you know, you're, Izzy sat in my lap for, God, what, an hour probably eating oranges tonight. And it was so good seeing them, you know. I'm still pop out all them, them kids. I'm a grandfather. So it's, it's, it's fantastic. And, and I, I think this, this, uh, um, week at, at world cup brought her back to a comfort zone where she's going to be coming back and she's going to make practice this weekend okay. because we, she was a part of this family. We'd like to have her back in there and, uh, um, whatever we can do to help ease up the pain of of losing a loved one for the family we're going to continue to do that and i thought it was an honor to have her come over and have dinner with us we thought we'd be here about an hour and my goodness she left right before we got on the podcast and uh um, that was only because the kids were were a little fussy but man it it was nice having her back here um it was almost like having her and trey back in the house again that's fantastic Uh, yeah it really was um I think that's part of the healing process. And I think Trey would be super excited to have her and the kids back here with us more frequently. So just thought I'd share that because it was relevant to, to what we stand for and what we do. And, and uh, man, it just felt so good having her here and talking about paintball again and being more involved. And uh, I'm excited. She's going to make practice. That's great. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so, I, I, I'm thrilled to hear that. Excellent. Yeah. It's excellent. But again, it's a testament to you guys and how you guys are and the family. Yeah. Family. 
Yeah, it really is. I know, I know we keep coming back to that, but I mean, it, it really is. It, it's the absolute truth. Yeah. So with that, with that, I hate to end it, but we are going to end it now at this point. It's a great way to actually end it, which is a great story, you know, that your, your family is being, is healing and is coming full back, you know, yep. back together, yep. you know, and look forward to, you know, when you guys get more pictures up of, you know, when she comes back and we'll, we'll even post those up too. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, but you guys, it was as always, Niles, it's always awesome to sit down, talk with you again, Kyle, awesome to meet you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you out on that field, not just walking down, wrecking people, <laughs> but actually sliding and don't hit those holes. I, uh, yeah. yeah. You see a hole. Opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as your whole body's going with you, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Get away from the holes. And uh, I, I definitely, I'm going to, seriously, Kyle's new, my hero. Sure. Yeah. Going to get that done. I'm going to get that. I'm gonna, Niles, if you have a picture of him, even if it's the one him of him walking, I'll make a shirt of it. I kid you not. I'll do something. But, I'll send it. Definitely send it. But you know what, guys? It's been awesome talking with you guys. And Thank always you. fun talking with you guys, too, hearing all the stories. Now we got even more stuff about Niles and how he likes to sing Michael Jackson songs. So <laughs> love it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sticking around a little bit longer. I apologize for uh, for meeting you, for coming in late. But uh, I, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us again. Yeah. We love you guys for always being there. And yes. We appreciate it. And then we can do let us know. And uh, we'll talk soon, man. Absolutely. Yep. Hey, Niles, if you want to hold on just one sec, we're going to actually go to a break. And for all you guys, listeners, viewers, ever, whatever, however you're looking at us, uh, this has been Niles, Kyle from Texas Cyclone. And we'll be right back after this break. We've talked in the past, and uh, you were my hero. You still are. You still got a wonderful beard. But uh, <laughs> Kyle, I have to go with the new. Not saying I'm out with the old, but in with the new. Kyle of Texas Cyclone. Can't wait to actually see the kid get back up and play. But it yeah. was an awesome yeah. talk. It was a wonderful night. It's so, sorry you weren't here for the first guy. We were on for a while. First, first hour. Half. The first hour. Well, no. I yeah. Think, no, I, I was on. I think we we uh, you got you got the cast started at about eight. I was able to make it on by eight thirty, and we didn't wrap until almost an hour later. It was almost nine thirty when we wrapped. That's true. Because I'm so, looking at I'm looking at the time now, and it's like holy crap, we actually were talking even longer. To, yeah, yeah. Which they don't even know that. But anyways, um, yeah, it was it was an awesome talk. It's awesome to always talk to Niles and just hear about everything that goes on, and just again. And I keep saying this. People are probably like, God, he keeps saying it. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Heart. Absolutely. And, and it's, it, you know, just like the last time we had him on him, yeah, you know, he and Leo, um, I mean, it was a fantastic interview, fantastic talking and catching up with these guys. And, you know, I said it during the interview, I'm going to say it again. I mean, they, they played their, they played their asses off. They took second place. Yeah. May not have been where they wanted to be, but I mean, they played fantastic, you know, yeah, and and my my hat goes off to them. They they did phenomenal. They and did next, phenomenal. Yeah, next year, D three. Yeah, yeah, they're moving yeah. up. I mean, awesome. they they last year D five. This year D four. They're looking. They're they've got their sights set upward. Yeah, and uh, you know I'm all for it. Yep. So am I. Can't wait. So with that, we are going to definitely wrap it up because it has been an extra long episode. But you know what? It was fun. And yeah. if you guys are still with us listening, thank you for staying on for this long. And I want to give a shout out to our international brethren and sisters, because I noticed that our numbers in 
Germany have gone up. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Danke schön. Yeah. Danke. Dude, you guys are awesome over there in Germany. If you guys are living in Germany and want to be on the show, by all means, message us. Yeah, message Who us on Instagram, are. behind the oh, mask yeah. media. So uh, uh, we want to tell you guys how to get a re- hold of us. You can do on Instagram, which is behind the mask media. You can also catch us on YouTube, which on our frame around us, we're back. It's going to be one of these sides is going to say it's not somewhere up here. Yeah. Somewhere up there. And, but down below or, or, or down below, down, down below, down below, one of those sides yeah. has where you could hear us also, because yeah. this is not just a YouTube. It's also a podcast. So come out, listen to us. You got behind the mask on YouTube. You can listen to us on, I think we're up to eight podcast platforms, different ones, Spotify, Apple, Apple, um, Apple podcasts, Google podcasts, all those podcasts. Yeah. But when you go onto our Instagram, you click on our link tree and it'll send you to where you can listen to us, where you can view us and also how to get a hold of us, which is if you don't want to DM us, you want to email us, which we got our first email. Oh yeah. Wow. What did it say? It said, you guys suck. No, no, I'm kidding. It actually was <laughs> um, from a aunt from Andrew, aka Turbo, of the Bigfoot Brigade. Okay. Yeah, they're a smaller team up north here in Cali. And I want to give a shout out to them for even for you know Andrew just messaging us. So awesome. Hopefully by this time, because he was only up on to episode six. So he has 10 more episodes to go before he gets yeah, before he gets to this one. Yeah. Which is to tell him, got your email. Hope you got mine. Definitely want to talk to you guys. It would be awesome. And just like that, you guys can also message us. And if you want to talk about your team, by all means, we we would love to read your story. And if we like it, I hate to say it that way, but we'll put you on the show. You know, or if you got a special event coming up at a field we will definitely advertise it bring you on talk about it um you know like niles is saying it's all about the heart it's all about the positivity and that's what we want to see come back to this sport and we want to build this sport on that not on that aggression garbage that went on if you guys watched world cup that's no dude come on it's a game we're here to have fun and if you can't do that Get out of here. We don't need you. Well, more to more to that point, if you can't compose yourself with a little bit of, of dignity, regardless of the circumstances behind it, uh, you don't rip guys' masks off and then start opening fire on them. You don't swing your tank at them. And I don't know for sure if that's true. This is just hearsay from, you know, various, various messages and, and comments that I've seen online and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, I saw some of the footage of the fight itself yes. and literally every referee was going into that field and having to, to pull people apart. That's ridiculous. Yes. It's Absolutely a, ridiculous. It's a black mark on the sport and the team that did it. Yeah. You guys, both of them, both you guys should be ashamed, both teams. And if you don't like that, we're saying this, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I've been in the sport way too damn long to see something like that happen. It's a shame. You yeah. guys should honestly, you know, whether you guys are adults or, or kids, I don't care what you guys were, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Yep. Pitiful. Jeez. Anyways, moving on away from that. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to give them any more attention that they've already gotten because they don't deserve it. Yeah. So, anyways, agreed. With that. You guys, again, like I said, reach us on all our different outlets. Hit us up. Talk to us. We're more than happy to listen to you guys. And I want to give another shout out to Texas Cyclone for taking second at World Cup and having a phenomenal year. I look forward to seeing them next year and what they can do and working with them closer. Also, a shout out to our girls of destiny. Yes. Woo! First place. That's what I'm Way talking about. Go girls. 
awesome job. Uh, Haley, I saw that big smile on her face while you had that cup in your hand. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you got it. You got two rings now that don't fit your two fingers. Rings. Add to add to B's collection, add to, to Carrie's collection, so all the of them. Bronco sister. Oh my god, the exhibition game. I don't think Dennis, I don't think you got to watch that. I did, where where she like threw herself backwards over the bunker to get the point. Forget that. That was funny. That was great. <laughs> that girl, both those girls, the Blanco sisters. Holy the Blanco crap. sisters. Oh my god. They are like little just darts. They just poof, they're gone. I was like, where did that one go? Yeah. Dean, did you see that run from start? And she was all the way into the 50. She was gone. 50. Like and, 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 and in seconds flat. Yeah. Like Maddie was saying, she's got wheels. No, nah, she ain't got well, wheels. She's got a freaking jet pack on. She was gone. Yeah. Well, you, you realize that she's a competitive speed skater. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> and she's tiny. I saw the pictures of her, uh, both the sisters next to all the other girls. Yeah. They're, they're tiny. Yeah. In my, little, in my hands. But yeah, a little, they're, 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 they're amazing. Yeah, both of yeah, them are, are, they're amazing. Oh, I am looking forward to actually having the Destiny girls on, which we should oh, be have them on real soon. Uh, I was actually talking to B and actually we're going to have B and BB who yes. you watch the kids exhibition homegirl ran down the tape to tr go. I mean, she went balls out down the tape to bunk. Nice. It nice. was, it was great. It was a great move. I watched it. It was loved. And wow. also they took first place on three, the three men. Oh, that's right. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 years old. Phenomenal year for her. So congratulations, BB. Fantastic. Uh, to everybody. And even though I knocked Dy Dynasty earlier. <laughs> congrats, yeah. Dynasty. Yeah, congratulations to Dynasty. I want to knock you guys out too much because I want you guys on the show. Yeah. <laughs> or one of you guys, at least. I know you guys do Marcelo's show all the time, but come on. Give a little love to us little guys. Well, and Ryan's got his own show. Oh, that's right. Ryan, your show. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Ryan. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to have any of you guys on. Yeah, absolutely. Guys hear this or see this. But anyways, we're going to let, we're going to wrap this up because we are going way long. Yeah. And I got a lot of work with this one because I got a lot of pop-up things like you've been seeing on all the other episodes and stuff like that. So anyways, all right, guys, like I always say, get out there, go out, play, give the money to you, your fields, to your local stores, ansgear.com. Just had to throw it in there. And uh, yeah, you know, I guess I would, I'm going to say that's it for the show. You got anything else, Dennis? No, no, I, I think you summed it up nicely. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to, I can't wait to record the next episode. We've got potentially got some really exciting guests coming on. Um, oh, I, don't that. I don't know if they're going to hold up to what we just had, but I mean, well, yeah, but still exciting, potential exciting guests barring that, um, you know, as you said, you've been in touch with B and BB. So, you know, get them on the show. Um, love to try and get Mike on the show as well. That would be wonderful, but you know, we'll wow. see. The elusive big bear. That's gonna right. Be right. <laughs> uh, but no, I think, uh, I think he, like I say, you pretty well summed it up. So. All right, guys. Well, it's been fun time for us to go talk to you soon, or actually, you know, you'll hear from us soon. Yeah. So, that's it for now. Have a good night. Good day. Whenever you listen to this. Take care.